All right, 2K fans, I'm back with another video, another build video. I said I wanted to try out new builds, and this is a new one, an extremely new one, something uh, that I never thought I'd actually put together, a post-scoring playmaker at point. Uh, I always said it was a build that I thought was going to be a fun build, but I decided to take it a step further and make him 5'7", 180 pounds, makes him extremely fast out the gate and uh, extremely agile. What he's terrible at is, is defense. Like, he can get some great steals once I get his steal up, but when it comes down to outside of just playing on ball, he can get they can drive past him like it ain't nothing he has a good shot close um good dunks all his stats are really good at the end of the day uh he can he can spread the floor and i really want to try to do something with him in the post his post offense only but so high because he's so little you take a you take a hit when you're creating these builds but i said each one of my builds i'm gonna do i'm gonna have fun with them um i want to create competitive builds but at the end of the day i want to have builds that i can kind of just put on and play 2k and have fun with and everything like that my two-way shot creator he's my competitive build that's the one i take it a little more serious with when i got him but with this build i had a lot of fun with this build just like like my slashing defender uh, or what I like to call now my posterizing defender um, a great build to kind of really have fun at lower levels to me the builds are even better at lower levels because when you're doing things that you shouldn't be able to do against people you shouldn't be able to do it to um, it makes the build even fun, even better uh, here's a great you know ball handling can can max it out at 90 maybe 91 if you get plus two on that last bar but most likely it's a plus one so he can get the elite dribble moves um, he has uh, great passing skills can max out at about 87 88 um, he, he has a great mid-range shot it's a, I can get it to 73 now contested um, which means that I can get it to about a 76 77 uh, once I max it out and unlock all those caps so that's gonna be pretty cool it because his layups are like 81 and his shot close like 81 that means I can get that up possibly to uh, 87 88 uh, or even 90 so I kind of really I, I kind of really do think this build is a nice build it's a fun build like I said sometimes you can't take these games too seriously uh, it's, it's hard to do when you like to be competitive 2k doesn't really make it so you can actually be competitive with the way the game kind of uh, calls the shots at all times it takes the skill out of it and leaves it all up to chance but i managed to take this build to the park and have some fun and we, i'm gonna show you all that park footage it was actually a weird game but it was a funny weird game like i'm looking at it and saying like oh yeah i'm gonna drag this team down and it would surprise you just how much that i actually didn't contribute to the L. all right now at the park this was actually a pretty fun game uh i expected it to be a, a lopsided beating now I want to talk to y'all about a couple other things while we go over the footage of the of the park game that I played. First of all, this build is a fun build to play at park. Um, I created it mainly for park. I was glad to see that it turned out to be a good build. I started off the game just smacking the dude in the back with the ball to show my dominance for a little man. You knew that they was going to start the game by trying to talk, uh, deal with me and expose me and use my man to just kind of take advantage of me but I my, my team played some good help defense and rotation defense in the in the beginning and I was working with a different shot well I was working with the with the basics of one of my shots that I use but the difference was I didn't have my own custom touch to it so I didn't have my own release speed uh, my own a uh, um, animations when it come down to release one and release two so it was just a little bit different the speed was a little bit different because of it. I still had fun with it. I was trying to mix people up, trying to get moves going, setting screens, this, that, and the other. So I wanted to kind of go over a couple of things with y'all when it boils down to it. I'm dropping content as often as possible. Over the past few days, I've dropped content, and then after a few hours, it got demonetized, and so I, re I removed the content. Now, what I've decided to do is, is that I'm realizing with my last video that I dropped about my slashing defender, that got demonetized and I just said, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and continue to put them up and hopefully that will lead to YouTube kind of like put me in the algorithm to show up a little more because one of the things that to me that demonetization hurts literally isn't my income. You know, I look at this as additional income to my job, what I do already. And when it comes down to this, I use this more as a platform to just kind of share content that I mess with, share guys that I mess with, uh, and have some fun playing the game. Now, when it comes down to where the demonetization hurts is you don't show up as much because YouTube is going to show content that they can show advertisements on more often than not. So when it comes down to YouTube Red uh, subscribers, they'll see my content show up 
and things like that. But when it comes down to um, your your everyday YouTube uh, YouTube viewer who doesn't you know have YouTube read and everything, but they do watch a lot of content, a lot of videos, it's going to be harder for the content to show up for them. So I'm not really like I said, I'm not really mad about it. It's just one of those things where I'm going to kind of aggressively add videos and just try to find out what is it that my uh, videos are doing that is causing the algorithm to automatically say demonetize, 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 limited or no ads. So, I mean, I look at my reviews, my videos as user friendly. Uh, I, I won't say really kid friendly. I mean, ain't 2K rated T for teen, uh, but I will say that they're user friendly they're viewer friendly when it boils down to it and advertiser friendly at the end of the day so hopefully all of this kind of works itself out and just continues to drop in videos kind of helps in that process i'm about to actually uh finish the edits on elite dangerous i've been playing that heavy because i really do enjoy that game i've been trying to get others on my list to kind of get involved in it so hopefully by creating content for it i can find a new set of people to also play a different game with because elite dangerous is, is exactly that it's a dangerous game it's one of those games that you really shouldn't play by yourself you run up on some goons who run who run through you in this game and i but i enjoy it i have fun with it so i'm going to continue uh uploading 2k content but i'm also going to start adding more games to it so that way it uh, increases my audiences in different genres and different fields but this isn't the end of the series for creating new archetypes um, messing with new new build combos some of these builds you've seen already done before I'm gonna put my own little special twist on it to try to make the build unique I try to go up and bang he was not having none of that um, I'm gonna try to add my own little special unique twist on it add my own little creative flair to it just so that way you can kind of get the same gist of me having fun. I took a beating, got two points and two assists, took a beating, but at the end of the day, I still had fun. I had a whole lot of fun playing with this build. So like I said, you know, with everything going on with YouTube, I'm still gonna be dropping content. I'm trying to be more aggressive dropping content day in, day out, day in, day out. Uh, I got a couple more builds right around the corner. One of them is a, is a competitive build and another one is a, just a, a park fun build. Um, I don't want to spoil what they are, but you'll see those hopefully over the next couple of days. If I can get them both out tomorrow, that'll be perfect. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.